Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing a get ready with me and I'm going to be talking through my summer makeup and skincare. So as I've mentioned before, I'm a look fantastic ambassador. So you guys can get 20% off the website using my code Coco Beauty. So let's start with skincare. And I'm starting with the Dior Capture Total Serum Lotion. And I absolutely love this. It gives my skin an amazing burst of hydration. I'm then using my By Terry Balm de Rose lip balm. This is my absolute favourite lip balm. It's so hydrating and nourishing and it gives a really nice rosy tint to the lips. I've recently been using the Inky List Hydroxy Acid. It's basically a potent salicylic acid and it really helps to unclog pores and help to even out skin tone. I'm then going in with the Dior Capture Total Serum. This is a really hydrating serum and it's just a really lovely base for me to then go on with my moisturiser. I've lost count of how many Origins Ginseng eye creams I've been through. I absolutely love it. It really helps to counteract any darkness and it really brightens and depuffs under the eyes. I'm using my favourite moisturiser which is the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser. This is super hydrating, super nourishing and it's a really good lightweight base as well so your makeup will still apply really well on top. And on to my final and most important step, sunscreen. I use this even if I'm just staying indoors. So I use the La Roche-Posay sunscreen and I really love it because it's lightweight and it's really fluid so it doesn't feel heavy and it also doesn't leave a white cast. Now on to my outfit. So I'm wearing these jeans from Frame. They're a recent pair and I love them because they're quite stretchy so they're really comfortable to wear all day. And I styled it with a striped top from Under the Stories. This is the perfect summer top in the UK because it's not super hot over here. And now it's time for my makeup. I'm going to take the Benefit Professional Face Primer and I'm going to focus this on my T-zone. This is a great primer for blurring out pores and any bumps on the skin. I have a little bit of discoloration around my skin so I'm taking the Smashbox Colour Correcting Stick in orange and I'm just going to try to neutralise those areas. So I'm applying this around my mouth and under my eyes, just basically anywhere where there is a little darker patch. And I'm just going to lightly blend it in but not completely. I'm then taking the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. I have the colour St Moritz and I know it looks a little bit lighter but it blends into the skin really well. This is a perfect base to wear especially if you're used to wearing foundations but in summer it can feel a little bit heavy so this is a really good alternative because it's so lightweight your skin can still breathe through the makeup and it looks really glowy and natural. I use a makeup sponge to blend this in but you can also use your fingers and it'll give a really nice skin like finish. To conceal areas of darkness I'm then taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the colour Ginger and I'm applying this under my eye in a slight triangle shape. I'm then also going to create a line from the corner of my eye going up. This is basically just going to help to lift the eyes and make it look a lot brighter. I'm then trying to keep that concealer in place while blending it in with my makeup sponge. This is a great trick if you want to help brighten and just help to look more awake. My favourite bronzer is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Powder in the colour Medium. This is the perfect just got back from holiday glow and I like to apply this on my cheekbones, on my temple, my jawline. I use this as both a sculptor and also to add a bit of colour and a bit of definition. I'm keeping the cheeks natural and I'm going for Laura Mercier Blush Colour Infusion in Fresco and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5 and I try to follow the natural shape of my brows and just fill in those sparser areas and I make sure that I keep brushing it with the spoolie end to help blend everything together and make it look more natural. The By Terry Cream Eyeshadow Pen in Sunny Flash is my go-to at the moment because you can just apply it in one stroke and you're good to go. It doesn't really require much effort and you really can't go wrong. It's definitely really fill proof. This colour in particular is absolutely beautiful. It's also buildable so you can make it look more dramatic if you wanted to but I am going for quite a light colour and I'm going to create quite a sunset looking eye. So I'm taking the NARS Cosmetics Skin Deep Eye Palette and I'm going for the warmer brown colour and just applying this to my crease. This will not only define my eyes but it will just act as a really nice blending colour 
so everything looks seamless but I really love the finish and this eyeshadow palette is one of my go-to's as well because it has every single colour that you need. As it's more for an everyday look, I am just going to be taking a brown eye pencil. This is the Edmund Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Whiskey. And I'm applying this on my waterline and along my lash line. You can see it's quite a subtle colour, so it blends in so beautifully with the other tones of the eye makeup look. I make sure to wing out the outer corner because it helps to lift my eyes. And I really like that feline look. And I'm also going to be lining this all the way to the inner corner. And then I'm curling my eyelashes and applying my favourite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Mascara. This is an amazing mascara if you want both volume and definition. It really lasts a long time as well. I feel like you really get good value for money with this mascara. I know it's not everyone's thing, but I love to apply mascara on my lower lashes because it really helps to give that smoky look to my eyes. keep in line with the whole neutral makeup, I am going for MAC Lip Pencil in Spice and I'm going to both outline and fill in my lips using this. This will help to define the lips and if you want you can also slightly overline so you look like you have fuller lips. I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Paint on Liquid Lip in Bronze Leaf and this does not budge all day, it's amazing. And just to set my skin, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and just applying it on my T-zones or any areas where I tend to get a little bit oily. And that is the makeup look complete. I really like this for every day. I feel like it's the perfect kind of subtle glam makeup look that's still quite natural and laid back. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget that you can get 20% off on Look Fantastic using my code COCOBEAUTY. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!